Have you ever wondered if your pelvic floor muscles are too tight or too weak? Unsure whether to stretch or strengthen them? Well, you have landed in the right spot. This video breaks down exactly how to assess and then address your pelvic floor health. Let's start with a simple analogy. Picture your pelvic floor muscles as a hammock that attaches from your pubic bone up front all the way to your tailbone around back. Now, these muscles, they have a crucial role to play. They provide support to your internal organs, they maintain control over your bladder function, and yes, they even contribute to the quality of your erections. Now, let's talk about some common concerns. Are you facing problems like accidental urine leakage, the feeling of not fully emptying your bladder, difficulties with achieving or maintaining erections, or perhaps you're recovering from a prostate surgery. Well, these situations, they often signal that your pelvic floor muscles, they might need some extra care. They might be either too tight or in need of some strengthening. So I want you to stick around to the very end of the video as I break down all of the factors that can help you figure out whether to stretch, whether to strengthen, or even embrace both approaches. So let's kick things off with a discussion about age. If you find yourself in the under 40 category, it's quite likely that your pelvic floor muscles tend to lean towards the tighter side rather than being weak. And it makes sense, right? Especially if you're someone who's fairly active and hits the gym regularly, it's likely that you're not stretching enough, leading to increased tightness. That and you're exercising the lower body muscles that attach to a nearby site shared with your pelvic floor leading to increased tightness within your pelvic floor muscles. If you're experiencing men's health issues, the culprit might be what we call hypertonicity. And that's a fancy way of saying excessive tightness. And in such cases, incorporating some gentle pelvic floor stretching exercises could be just the ticket you're looking for to get relief in restoring the balance. Moving on to the 40 to 50 age bracket, things can get a little bit more nuanced. Do you find yourself sitting for extended periods of time due to a sedentary job? Are you facing challenges with managing your weight? If these scenarios sound familiar, chances are your pelvic floor muscles, well, they might be leaning towards the weaker side. So engaging in targeted exercises to strengthen up your pelvic floor muscles could hold the key to addressing your men's health concerns. Now on the flip side, if you're someone who's managing to keep up an active lifestyle, clocking in a minimum of 10,000 steps per day and maintaining a healthy weight, well, a tight pelvic floor muscle might be at play. And in this case, integrating pelvic floor stretching exercises into your routine could provide the relief that you're looking for. As we cross the threshold into the 50 and above age group, it's time to shift our focus to strengthening. Now with the passage of time, it's natural for our muscles to experience some degree of decline which can manifest as urinary issues and challenges with erections. If you find yourself in this age group, giving your pelvic floor muscles some targeted strengthening exercises and attention, well, it can make a significant difference in managing these concerns effectively and recovering quickly. All right, time for a quick shout out. If you're enjoying the video and exploring how to rehabilitate your pelvic floor muscles, I'd like to invite you to become part of our growing community. By hitting the subscribe button and ringing that notification bell, you'll be joining a crew of thousands of men who are committed to enhancing their well being, finding practical solutions, and sharing in a journey of valuable insights. So, if you're looking to take proactive steps towards better men's health, consider subscribing. After all, health is wealth, and we're all in this together. I upload new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on. Thanks everyone. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and thank you for the support. Let's get back into it. Now let's address a factor that affects all of us. Stress. Think about those times when life gets a little bit overwhelming and you feel your muscles tense up. Did you know that this stress can have an impact on your pelvic floor muscles as well? So here's the scoop. During stressful periods, many of us tend to carry tension in our pelvic floor muscles. It's almost like a reflex action. This heightened tension can lead to tightness, which in turn can contribute to problems like difficulties with erections and even unexpected urine leakage. Imagine a scenario where performance anxiety takes center stage. Now, the first instance of struggling with erections during self-pleasure or intercourse with a loved one can set off a chain reaction of stress. 
your brain signals to increase those cortisol levels, which only tightens your pelvic floor muscles further. And so the negative cycle continues, possibly aggravating the issues you're facing. Now, if this narrative resonates with you, introducing pelvic floor stretches into your daily routine, it can be a game changer. Additionally, incorporating a guided meditation while you complete your stretches can go a really long way in breaking the cycle of stress and tension, offering a very holistic approach to managing these concerns so that you can fix your erectile dysfunction issues quickly. Now, for those of you who are on the road to recovery post prostate surgery, the emphasis shifts towards strengthening your pelvic floor muscles. The aftermath of surgery can bring about swelling and inflammation and even nerve damage, which can impact the ability to contract these muscles effectively. Well, this can lead to challenges such as urine leakage and difficulties with erections. Engaging in exercises specifically designed to strengthen your pelvic floor, such as Kegels, play a pivotal role in your journey towards recovery and improved men's health. So after diving into these diverse scenarios, you might be wondering about your next steps. Now, if you're leaning towards the idea of stretching your pelvic floor, let's put that thought into action right now. I want you to have a seat on the ground and I want you to try out the butterfly stretch. Now, put those feet together, apply some pressure into those knees, pushing them towards the floor. If you feel a gentle pull in your groin area, it's an indication that your pelvic floor might be on the tighter side. Why is that that you ask? Well, the groin muscles and the pelvic floor muscles, they share a common attachment site. So if your groin is tense, well, you can bet that your pelvic floor muscles are too. Now, for those of you seeking a more personalized approach, I invite you to explore my online coaching service. Here, I can guide you through tailored exercises and stretches, creating a comprehensive rehabilitation plan that suits your individual needs and circumstances. We can start off with a free Zoom call to discuss your health situation and to determine if my coaching service will benefit you. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to check out my website, which I will link in the description of this video and also in the comment section as well. On my website, I have all my client testimonials and the additional information. So go and give it a look. Again, it's linked in the description of the video as well as in a pinned comment below. If you're on the lookout for effective pelvic floor stretches, you'll find the best routine where I guide you through every single stretch in this video right here. And for those of you keen on diving into your pelvic floor strengthening exercises, this video right here is your go-to where I teach you how to properly feel a Kegels contraction. And remember, regardless of your situation, keep going and I'll see you in the next video.